And now we need to make the message that sells the offer, right? So that's what we're going to walk through here uh, real quick. And uh, we got, it's very fast. I went through and I condensed it down, but let's go and watch this real fast. The game's hard for a while, right? It's hard. You're proving to life, existence, God, the universe, everybody, the market, that you actually want it. This, I remember this one time, um, we went to, um, we would go to like, there's like a Taco Bell or something like that. That's where our date nights would be, because of 89 cent bean burritos, you know what I mean? Like, and uh, that's all we could afford. As I started trying the next business, I knew the next one was coming up. I was excited. And I was telling Princess Babe about it. <laughs> and uh, she wanted to believe in me. And, and it was uh, challenging. And when she asked, is this the one? And I was sitting there. And inside, I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. I'm asking myself the same thing. Is this the one? You know, on the outside, I'm like, yeah, baby, nothing but a thing. I'm your man, right? I will provide. And I wasn't, right? I will provide. And I was like, I was not providing at all. And um, we were living on loans, you know? I came out of one of my economics classes. And I see this guy sitting at a bench. And these things are just running through my head. Crap, like... Is this the one she asked me? I want to feel like a man. I want to provide. I want to be her man, right? Like, am I, am I good enough for this? Man, maybe you're not good enough. Maybe you should go get a job. Noise, man. Like, how many guys have felt the noise? Noise, 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 noise. You're like, shut up. You know, it's like, but I believe it. But am I, am I psycho, you know? And all, all those things were just running through my head. Boom, 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 boom. Is this the one? Is this the one? Is this the one? I don't know if this is going to work. I don't either. Let's go put money on it. Are you serious? You know what I mean? Let's go get money for ads. It's like, what? I don't have money for ads. We could barely eat. I'm walking down the street, and I see this old gentleman sitting in, I've never seen him before, and he was sitting on this park bench, and it just stopped raining. And you could tell the dude just wearing wealth. And I'm a ways off, and, and this limo pulls up. And this limo pulls up, and this dude with unnaturally straight posture gets out of the car, you know? You know, like super awesome posture. And he walks around the front, you know, and he opens up the car door and does this little half bow. And I'm starting to, I'm starting to get, a, get a little bit closer. And this guy gets up, this older gentleman, he stands up and he starts to get in the car and they exchange looks. You could tell they knew each other. There's a history. They exchange words. And I'm, by this time, I'm getting pretty close, you know, like here to that little VIP sign, you know, and I'm getting kind of close. And they start closing the door and something in me out of sheer desperation made me run. And I ran because I wanted it. And I ran and I slammed my hand in the door right before it closed. It hurt. But I wanted him to know I was there, but not to like kill him either. You know? So like, and I'd been running full speed. So like, hey, what's up? I know you don't know me. It's a great way to start. How did you get this? I'm not sure you get asked it a lot. How'd you get this? Yeah, a lot of people ask me that. I said, how do you do it? It's not that I'm not trying. I'm launching. I'm doing the stuff. What is wrong? Like, someone else has had success. I'm not. I'm the variable. What is wrong with me? He looks at me and he goes, he goes, um, he hands me this book. And he said, you need to read this book. It's what he was reading on the bench before the car pulled up. And he handed it over to me. And he said, if you will read this for 20 minutes every day, and then spend the next 40 applying it, you will not recognize your life in two years. That was four years ago. How cool is that? That was four years ago. Okay, And he handed that thing up, and he drove off, and I never saw him again. And so I spent, for the next year, 20 minutes reading the book, 40 minutes applying. 20 minutes reading, 40 minutes applying. And spent the whole year like that. And in one year, stuff started happening in my life. It was really interesting. I stopped looking at the clock, stopped judging my self-worth based on how fast that guy did it. Okay. So we actually have a really cool little thing for you guys here. Um, he and I have been in communication quite a bit now, which is really fun. And uh, he said, uh, I can give you guys all a copy of this book. It's really exciting. I know, right? It's awesome. Uh, we have the, uh, the actual book. Okay. Um, and I am a very slow reader. So I asked him if I could, if I was like licensed or whatever to read it. So I've read the entire book. So I have an audio book for you from me. Um, and then we also gave you guys, there's also like a little checklist so you guys can make sure that you've actually done it correctly. He wants to do a little private event. So in about six months from now, we're going to do a little private event. But uh, we literally just have this little tiny room. It's actually in his living room. The first 20 of you guys who want it, uh, we're going to get you guys to an event. 
with him, with me, and we will actually apply stuff. So it's in six months from now, so that you guys actually have time to actually consume this stuff and do it. Sound good? Okay, so you guys will get the actual book, the audio book. We have a checklist for you guys, and then we're going to do uh, the first 50 guys we have um, a private event. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. Only break real quick, and we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Anyone confused? That's all fake, by the way. I've never read that book. <laughs> That's the fake book story, if you haven't seen it. And uh, I got so tired of people saying, this can't work for me because I'm in this industry or that industry. And I was like, oh, a story is a story. A sales message is a sales message. People never buy because of the product, ever, or the offer. You think that's why, but that's not why. They buy because of the message. And I wanted to go in and describe this and share this with people. And um, I'm nervous to go read the book because then it means it's going to like unvalidate the story, you know? I'm sure the dude's like seen this massive spike of sales periodically. Like he's going to reach out. He's a big guy. Like he's a smart, he's very, and he's like, a, anyway, so I'm, 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 uh, it's going to be funny if Michael Porter reaches out and be like, stop telling the fake book story. I'm like, you owe me commissions, you know? <laughs> but why does it work? Even though it's fake, don't lie, by the way. This is the only lying story I tell. And Russell's like, you got to stop doing that. It's like, but it's so good. I'll tell the same one every time. <laughs> Yeah, so I brought them in, and I started telling a story. Now, why is it identifiable? Why do they get it? Was it's extremely descriptive. I brought you into it, right? Marketers are storytellers, All right? So I brought you into it. Okay, why else? What else in there is like so combining? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, I'm going in. I'm throwing in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how can they can relate to me? conversation in their head. Why? What, is, what have they probably gone through? Same. Probably the same stuff. I mean, I really have done dollar menu date nights. Anyone else? Right? Because you're broke and you're poor and you're trying to make it work. Like 100%, like I've done that. And what's the likelihood that a lot of people listening to that story have also been through that in a struggling entrepreneur room, right? Probably most of them. What other parts of the story are so combining? The story of overcoming? Absolutely. Yeah, what else stuck out to you in that? About why? The desperation part. Yeah, and why do those questions work so well? We have probably all had those working in our heads, right? Probably every single one of us. So there's a very powerful element to this. You have to understand, this is, I mean, this is why we buy. We buy because of the sales message, not the offer. But we usually think it's the other way around. And what you're going to go do is create a message that talks to them in the scenarios they're going through. Now, this is where marketers can um, make a bad name for the rest of us, okay? Don't lie. Don't tell anything. It's like, you understand, this is extremely powerful stuff that I'm going through. I'm jacking with their beliefs, right? And you are too. And what happens is by the time you go in and you tell a story to them, if you don't sell them, you have changed the way they interact and see the world. And now a gap opens up. And if you don't sell them, someone else will. Because now they see things different. Okay, that's why this is such a big deal and it's so powerful. So what you need to do, and that's why I have you guys start listing out the objections. You don't just tell stories. You're telling stories that go and hit those very specific false beliefs. So you're gonna go back in your past. Your stories are the best ones to tell. And if you don't have stories, okay, um, in fact, I think the first night at Funnel King Live, I'm gonna, okay, ooh. There we go. There's a hook. <laughs> that almost came out. Okay. Woo that was not planned. All right. <laughs> but you guys got to start keeping track of your stories. You won't tell. Yeah. <laughs> but start. <laughs> yeah. Start going through, though, and keeping track of what's happened in your life experiences. Okay, you are and you should be the attractive character of your business. That is very challenging to outsource. And I always have somebody ask me, can I just build the stuff and someone else become the attractive character? It's super hard. I've hardly ever seen it work. I'm not saying it can't, but like learn to develop to become that attractive character. I was so shy in high school. In my senior year, a teacher brought me to the side and said, I'm so proud of you. I said, yeah? She goes, I can hear you. I said, excuse me? She said, I can hear you. I can hear you. She said, you can hear me like when as I speak. She's like, I couldn't hear you when you first showed up in high school. 
It's like, are you serious? She goes, you would speak. And it was like, it was in the back of your throat. And you wouldn't be speaking loud. Like, no one could hear you. I didn't know that. <laughs> so kind of like, oh, thank you. <laughs> like a slap at the same time, you know. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, man, thank you. But I didn't know that, right? And I, I'm saying that because, like, you have to understand that, if you, again, if you let the game take you, it's the attractive character and becoming that that will do a lot of the molding to you and your character and start ringing you out. And if you let it and you say, and you look at it and you agree to the pain and say, okay, and that, that part is very real. In a few years, you're not going to recognize who you are. But you also know yourself better than you ever have because all these pieces are going to start falling off of you. It's really fun. That's my favorite part of the game again. Okay. But the sales message works because I'm going to go tell stories that resonate with things that I've actually gone through, with things they've actually gone through. And what are we all seeking so much in this life right now? Tribe, connection, oxytocin. We are looking to connect. And so when someone hears that and see that, and we lead with the problem, not the solution, suddenly people are like, you, you get it. You've been there. You've seen it. I'm going through that too. And I'm like, oh, no figure. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you a sales message, right? <laughs> and I'm going and I'm telling a story that is very deliberate um, uh, in order to attack certain false beliefs so that progress happens, action happens, okay? Any, any, any questions on this so far? I want to keep going through this piece of it because this is super key, right? And this is where marketers really make their money. It's campaigns, but what are you using to campaign? Messages, right?